So guys, the very first thing all you have to do is just to capture some good photograph for the couple and just now we'll edit this photo just like you know bra Brandon Wolfville in long exposure kind of you know editing theme. So first of all we'll select the photo by using the quick selection and just right click on it and select select and mask option to select the perfect precise you know hair details and just if you are using photoshop cc then you can see the you know select and mask option and if you are using the photoshop cs6 then you can find the refine edge tool so just select that and just select layer copy option to make a duplication of the selection or directly press ctrl j i have already made a selection so you can see the difference now we will we will gonna just duplicate the image of the background original layer now go to the file click on open you can also use pen tool to you know select the object or the subject you know perfectly or the model image i have already made a selection now just open this background you can download it from the uh, link down in the, even in the description or directly from our website now just drag it and drop over here go to the edit select free transform just stretch it by using the alt and shift key from the one corner of the you know computer now just adjust or drag or just you know keep the background in such a way your you know photograph is looking much better now go to the filter select the blur and just add a box blur to around 22 or 25 now add a you can see the difference now add a layer mask on this background image select the brush tool and just delete it from here So delete it from this portion because we want only the skies and the mountains to look on the background image so we gonna just erase it rest of the things again you can still if you are not satisfied you can still do this adjustment by erasing some more backgrounds but it should look more realistic and original that should you should you know that you should keep in mind and if you want to undo then you can select the white brush and just paint it so it will just you know undelete the portion where you don't want now just adjust the background wherever you want in a perfect position Now go to the file and let's add some more bokehs to the photograph so you can just press ctrl l and just make more darker in order to you know get the perfect black look now just change the blending mode to screen press ctrl d and just decrease the size of the bokeh now just place it somewhere over here so that it will you know, merge it with the you know mountain as well as kind of you know the grass image <clears throat> so you should keep in mind that you have to keep this bouquet in both between the mountains and the grass image so that it may not look you know unreal now select the eraser tool and just delete it from this portion now duplicate it by pressing alt key or press ctrl j flip it horizontal or vertical whatever you want And just keep it as it is now let's add some more bokeh so put the file click on open and let's over try this bokeh just drag it and drop over here change the blending mode to screen press ctrl d and decrease the size of this bokeh by pressing alt and shift key from the keyboard Now let's place the, this book image somewhere over here and just make a duplication. Now this one is looking quite good. Now go to the hue and saturation, click on the below icon and just reduce some of the cyan color because it is totally oversaturated this blue color. So we gonna just reduce it so just click on the clipping mask so you can see the difference 
and you can select the eraser and just delete it from this portion because we only want it on the down portion to be desaturated so you can see the difference this will actually merge your you know background image as well as the sky image with your original image Now you can still do more adjustment of, of this bokeh images. Select the eraser tool and just delete it from this portion or this side. Now add a long exposure, you know, this. Uh, image or the background image now just change the blending mode to screen press ctrl l from the keyboard to make it more darker so just make it from more so you can see the difference it will actually remove the white more whiteies from the image now this one is looking very cool Now add a layer mask and just delete it from the downward portion. Now just make sure that this layer is on the top of every layer. Now Go to the adjustment layer and select the solid color and change the blending mode to multiply and select the black color and just remove the black color only from this portion of the topmost region because we want the blackness on the down portion so we're gonna just make it more darker and also let's remove it from this uh, model images also So you can see the difference it is really now actually merging your photograph and making it look more and more at the sunset type you know look giving it look not our kind of you know very now we're gonna just remove this so select the patch tool from here and just select this area just drag it and drag to other removed area so that it will be removed so you can just remove the unwanted things from your photograph by using this patch tool. Now we gonna just merge all the layers before merging. Make sure that everything is perfect. Now we gonna just make it more, you know, look great so just increase the brightness of this model image only so just make pump out the highlights and just make it more look white skin down so you can see the difference here we have brighten up the model image and just remove it from the down portion we just want it on the face region so we're gonna just make it more white Now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers and now we're gonna just uh, select the crop tool and again once again crop the image so rest of the image would be crop and this would be a final image now go to the filter and select the camera filter and before going to it we gonna just make a duplication of this you know image because we want to add a vignette to the photograph so it is very much important that just it you know cancel this and just make a duplication for a better arrangement for the future so just go to the filter select the camera filter uh, go to the fx tab and add a vignette on this just make sure we have to make it more darker and more black on the down portion so just 
make it a very smooth and no feather like perfect vignette now we're gonna just delete it from here so add a layer mask select the brush tool and just select uh, erase it from the topmost portion just make sure that uh, on the face and also on the hand region there is not more darkness shadows over here because we want only the darkness on the down portion and also on the rest of the image we have to make it more clear on the face as well as on the long exposure swirls so you can see the difference now it is looking very very amazing now just merge both the layers now we're gonna play with this color effect on you know camera filter so filter go to the camera filter now you can just adjust it to plus 5 this temperature go to the calibration add to minus 40 go to the hue and saturation now we're gonna just make the perfect skin tone because now the skin tone is actually the red so we gonna just you know make it to perfect skin tone look that is a very perfect soft cream like skin make the yellowish color to you know kind of you know greenish aqua so this 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 all adjustment are totally up to you whatever kind of color effect you wanna give you can give to your photos select the aqua color and just make it more aquais select the blue and just make more bluish kind of perfect don't add a teal color just add a blue color because teal will actually will not look good select the orange color and just make the skin down to kind of you know perfect gold type now the skin was actually the red so we're gonna just make it to kind of you know perfect goldish and uh, brownish yellow skin tone add a little bit of sharpness and just make sure to add this all adjustment of contrast highlights just decrease a bit of highlights decrease some shadows and you can just increase a little bit of whiteness from the image You can always play with this and see how it actually looks to your photos. This is totally dependent on you. So you can just adjust this kind of contrast and brightness and everything. Now we're gonna go to the course and just add a matte effect a little bit to the photograph if it is needed. In other words, I think this one is perfect. I, I, th no, I, I think don't you should not add a matte effect. So we're gonna just remove as it is keep this as it is now let's go to the blue color of the curve click one point over here and just a little bit of down point over here to add a perfect you know cross processing image or the look now go to the shadows and just make sure to add shadows to kind of you know blueish that would be around 200 or 205 just make a saturation down too much add saturated but a little bit would be a pretty much perfect around 20 or 23 now add a highlights if it is needed otherwise i don't think highlights is needed so just highlight a bit to one or two percent or maybe three would be okay or five now this one is looking kind of very cool so we have perfectly edited our image and it is looking very very amazing guys so you can just add your color effect just like this and just turn your photo editing game to a kind of next level so guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just press the like button and if you still not subscribed then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashurecreations.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, loads, color video, photos as well as videos, mobile lightroom preset and many more cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. Also guys don't forget to check out our second website that is filterpreset.com that we are gonna launch soon. 
the premium collection of preset on that website so guys stay tuned on that website also and also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just have actual creation so you can see the difference you guys here is the before and here is the after this one is looking very very amazing guys really this one is looking totally cool and very realistic kind of editing just like branded wolfil so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome